Hi, I'm Michael. Thanks for watching Aquarium Tech today. Um, today I'm going to go ahead and do a bigger video um, to add to the lighting series and do T5s, alright? Now I might have to make this video like a two-parter possibly um, because T5s, you know, it's not like the T12s or the T8s. You know, T5s are very promising. You know, they'll probably end up being, you know, the future of lighting and, you know, maybe one day end up instead of being, you know, like T8s and T12s in those Aquion fixtures, you'll find a single T5 in there, rather. Hopefully, they should do that. But, anyways. Alright, first off, here, let me grab a bowl. Um, this fixture is on a really tight cord. Um, T5s, I'll start off right now and tell you, are one of my favorite forms in lighting. I mean, it probably is my favorite, maybe, besides LEDs. Um, T5s are just really efficient, they're cheap to use, well, fairly cheap. Um, and they, there's a lot of customization to them, I mean, they make all sorts of different bulbs, and they can power pretty much any of your needs, whether it's marine or fresh water. Alright, yeah. Oh, shit, one of my pens is back. As you can see, this is much thinner than a T8 or a T12 bulb. I believe it's 13 millimeters in uh, diameter here. Um, but th these will not work in a T8 or T12 fixture. Let, you know how those are interchangeable. These are not. These need their own fixture. I mean, you can simply tell it just by the, how skinny it is. All right. And even even if it was to fit the right size, these require a much higher quality ballast that can put out a lot more for it. Um, and just in comparison, uh, I think like a T8 puts out something around 40 lumens per watt on average. You know, that can be more or less. Um, and a T5 usually puts out, I believe, about 70 lumens per watt. And of course that varies, you know, that can be anywhere from 60 to 80 lumens per watt. All right. And that's, as you can tell, that's like twice as much as a T8, which is even better than a T12. So, these bulbs are definitely the way to go um, if you're looking for still somewhat of affordable uh, aquarium lighting, alright? Uh, I mean, they're excellent to use with uh, freshwater planted tanks. I mean, they're probably the best to use other than uh, a special LEDs. Because the problem with LEDs, as I've noticed is most LEDs are made for marine tanks and if you get the super blue ones or you have too much blue in it, it'll grow mad algae. Believe me, I've had this problem. Um, but anyways, uh, uh, the T5s are nice. You can choose, I mean, there's just so many bulbs to choose from. You can get the exact color temperature and look you want for your tank. I mean, there's really just n not nothing bad I can say about T5s except I'll start getting into some of the things you need to worry about with these T5s, alright? Now, it's not really so much the bulbs you need to worry about. It's when you're buying a fixture is what you need to worry about most. Um, I don't think it's as much of a problem anymore since T5s are becoming so commercially accepted and used. Um, but, they used to be... Oh, shit. Why is this not going in? There used to be a huge problem with especially if you were buying the uh, the very high output fixtures I mean of course they, they were fairly new then too but there's a lot of like off-brand companies making them and their ballast were just crap like pe like the ballast would crap out on people in like a week or a month or something like that or you know maybe even go to a year but that's not so much of a problem now but I still don't like using the very high output ones the VHOs I just use the high outputs the HOs um, but the, but the regular ones will work fine too for like fresh water and stuff. Alright, and I actually haven't seen too many very high output bulbs anymore. The only one company I ever see making them really is, I think it's like UVL or UV or something like that. Um, of course it'll have the same lumens per watt, but you know, it's just more watts. And, and you know what, before I even go on, remember, watts is not an accurate, I'll make, do a whole show on this, but watts is not an accurate way to measure lighting, okay? Watts isn't even a measurement of light, it's a measurement of power. So, 
That being said, don't ever use the watts per gallon rule. It's so stupid. It doesn't even... Like, uh, that, that rule has some place with T8s and T12s, but that's about it. Alright, anyways, moving on. T5s. Um, so, yeah, j just be careful when you're buying the very high output ones. Um, it's easy to get a bad one. Or I, I can, well, not so much anymore, but you can still easily get a bad one. I just stick with, like, the high output ones, alright? Um, T5s are... Uh, that they're j j just in comparison. Like here, here's a 24 inch one. Uh, see, this one's on such a tight cord. But but for like the high output ones, they're about 24. They're the 24 inches are about 24 watts. And just in comparison, the T8 is about I think 24 inches is about 17 watts. So uses less power, but you're getting like twice to three times more useful light. Plus the T5 fixtures usually come with uh reflectors and I'll get into that uh, I might do it another whole separate show on it too because it gets really in depth but uh, it's also a parameter called restrike uh, but uh, you know that I might just have to do a whole other video on that but that's also what dictates the price or how much uh, you know a fixture is going to cost you a lot of times like if you see the ATI fixtures are supposed to be the best their power modules those I mean, they, they cost anywhere from like twelve, you know, from like a thousand dollars to like two thousand dollars for those fixtures, and they don't even have built-in timers or anything. And it's just because of how good their reflectors and their cooling systems are, and you know how durable they are and whatnot. But of course, that equals brighter light. Okay. Now I don't necessarily suggest you know like an ATI fixture for someone unless you're doing like a salt water tank, you know, where where T5s, you know. With saltwater T5s, kind of, uh, you know, you're kind of pushing your limits, especially if you're trying to do hard coral. Um, you know, you might not be able to do that. You know, you might have to really push the limits of your fixture and your light. But, you know, if you're just doing soft corals, I mean, how my uncle has a 90-gallon tank, and he's only using three 48-inch T5s, and he's getting massive growth. So, but, of course, that depends exactly what you're growing, how deep your tank is, et cetera, et cetera you know, how good your reflectors are and your bulbs, but, uh, anyways, uh, I'll show you a little demonstration here with one of them, and obviously this one's not going to work, anyways, I have a little aquatic life one here, um, and aquatic life is probably one of my favorite brands that I've used so far, um, I just recently bought a couple other fixtures. Um, I haven't been using them too much because uh, I never really liked the way they did the reflectors, but they but they work all right. And you know what? Before I even continue, that's how you that's how you're able to tell a good T5. That's one way you're able to tell a good T5 fixture from a poor one. Like if you see on here on this Zoomed one, there's no individual reflectors. This thing is just. I mean, at least it has like reflective material in there. But see, the, the bulbs are just in there in a thing. It's just, they're not individualized. Now these Aquatic Life ones aren't technically individual reflectors, but you'll see that they're, the lights are individually, uh, like if you can, here let me take this off, which I, which I do I have, here we go. Oh, I forgot to clean this. You can see here that the the bulbs are separated, like the reflector comes past the bulb. So that technically means it does the job of an individual reflector, but that's technically not what an individual reflector is. If you've ever seen it, seen one, it's just it looks like a almost like a triangle just going over the bulb, and that's usually what you would want. But this but this will work fine, and I love these fixtures because they have the timers in them. It makes it so much easier for myself. All right. All right. I'm going to try to fit this all into one part, but I had to splice it with the camera anyways. But anyways, we were talking about reflectors. Um, and, and like I said, you know, I told you what individual reflectors would look like. If you can't tell from a picture, it almost looked like fins. I wish I could grab the one I have. But it just, it looks kind of like a bunch of fins coming off, you know. 
But, but like I said, it's still fine if you got one that's like this. I think the Core Life ones do it too. And by the way, I don't know why people bash the Core Life fixtures. I've always had good luck with their fixtures. And then I've never had one broken on me, and I've had one for a long time. That was my first T5 fixture, and it's still going. So, I mean, I haven't had it for that long, but, you know, because they haven't been around that long, but... You know, I, I don't know why they underestimate him. Core Life has really good deals on their fixtures, usually. Um, anyways, uh, continuing on with T5s, um, I was going to also show you that another reason I love T5s is the fixtures themselves. Now, I, I told you why, you know, something to watch out for is the fixtures when you're buying T5s. But another good thing is the fixtures, all right? Like if you see here, I have an Aquatic Life one. It's got the timer. It's got LEDs in it. I'll show you. And I can operate the different. There's like different circuits in here, so I can different operate different lights at once. I've never seen that with the T8. All right, <laughs> or really with the T12 for that matter. Um. So it's it's just, it's just really nice to to have all that plus the the excellent lighting. The, the T5s are just, when you get up in there, you're just going to get better quality overall. Now, most T5 lights don't have something like this. Like I said, even the ATI power modules, which are supposed to be the brightest ones on the market, or the best on the market, they, they don't even have one of these, all right? And they cost $2,000. I mean, depending which one you get, you know, between $1,000 and $2,000, you know, I think around $1,600, depending which one you get. But... Um, anyways, usually you just get more quality when you're going to T5s, alright? And then I run a quick demonstration to show you how bright they are, alright? Now this is a little, uh, 30 inch fixture right here. Um, alright, let's see, let's go ahead and turn on. These are 10K bulbs I have in here that I'm going to turn on. Those are 10 Ks. See, it, they're they're much, much, much brighter than the T8s or the T12s. Let me take this one out real quick. All right, and then this next one I'm going to turn on is an antenna bulb. See, much, much, much brighter than the. Uh, T8s or 12s. Alright. Now I'm not going to really show you how the timer works. Maybe I'll do a review on this product. If you guys want to, just send me some requests and I can write a review on it. Now I haven't used it too long, so even if you ask for a review, it's probably going to be a little while till I put it out. I'm not going to put something a review out for something I haven't thoroughly used. So... I'm really, uh, what's it called? I'm really OCD about my bulbs. I always have to have them facing all the same way. And anyways, here's just a Color Max bulb from Core Life. They actually work pretty well. I think it's around like an 8,000K or something like that. Maybe 7,000. I just use this for like some, some of my freshwater tanks so when I'm using a four bulb fixture like this because four bulbs is like overkill for it usually. So. I just use this to bring out the colors and it actually works pretty well. But as you can see, that's probably comparable to the stock bulb that comes in the T8s and 12s and it's still much brighter than them, alright? And of course, oops, wrong button. Go away. And then you just got your night lights. Alright? Which is pretty nice on these fixtures, alright? Um. I think that's about it. Just know the T5s, they usually have better, I'll, I'll get into this, you know, as I do the lighting parameters, but they usually put out better, better, like, power reactions and better, uh, be better lighting parameters, let's just say that. Alright? Alright, well, I mean, I guess that about wraps it up for the T5 show. Uh, I mean, I'll probably go more in depth, in depth as I do more shows and stuff, because there's a lot to these bulbs, but I'll probably do it as I do the lighting parameter videos, alright? Alright, thanks for tuning in.